Ladies and gentlemen, up next, we have a sponsored innovation break. Please welcome Spot Hero co-founder and CEO, Mark Lorenz, and Director of Strategic Business Lines, Becca Rabinowitz. Hi, everybody. Hello. So who here, raise your hand if you like parking. OK, so there's like two or three. Um, I didn't like parking easier, and that's why I started Spot Hero, because I got a lot of parking tickets, and I wanted to make parking easier for drivers. And we somehow stumbled into an industry that hadn't changed much in almost 100 years. I remember, speaking of innovation, trying to talk to people who told me that the internet was a fad. And it's funny to be here, sitting with all of you, talking about innovation, where a lot has changed in the parking industry, where we've been on the forefront. And it's been kind of tough over the years if we've you know, been doing this a while and have spent uh, time trying to you know, push forward change in an industry that hasn't wanted it at all. And there's been actually more innovation in the past five years than there has been in the past 100. And so what is Spot Hero? Spot Hero allows you to reserve a parking spot and millions of consumers do that in a garage and lot across the country, where what we've built is a technology that integrates into all the different machines. And today, it's a lot different when we talk to people because while they might not believe in the internet, they are using it. And today, while there are people that told me no one would ever buy parking on a telephone, the reality is we just announced that we have Half a billion dollars is a milestone of parking sold, and next year we're going to hit a billion dollars. And a lot has changed over the years. It's happened quickly, a lot of unexpected things, which is why today we've got Becca up here, director of our strategic business lines. Hey. Thanks, Mark. Yeah, so here to talk a little bit about how the parking industry has changed. So for reference, we do more parking in one month today than we have in our first four years combined. So if that just gives you a little bit of an idea of how people are adopting to the service and also the perception of parking. So when we first started working and when Mark founded Spot Hero, parking wasn't cool, no one cared about it and it was kind of like a dorky little you know, uh, industry and now it's very relevant in mobility conversations. AV companies talking to us, how can parking play a role there? So the perception of parking, parking is becoming a lot buzzier. The tools and technology, as Mark mentioned, um, to, we've changed the way people can find and book parking, the way operators can list their spaces, and then also our company itself has changed, which I'm sure many of you in this audience, where you are today as a company to where you were when you started has definitely changed. I know we never thought we would be competing with Evan Spiegel for audience attention, which I think we have a little bit more work to do in convincing people that parking is as cool as baseball. But um, you know, we're we're on our way, and that's that's neither here nor there. But in terms of the marketplace and the two different people that we were um, initiating change with, one was the customer. So the way that we all found and booked parking was driving around the block looking for a space. Um, when you found the space you wanted, you you drove in. Now. You know, when we started, we actually started listing parking spots on Craigslist. Then we built a website, raised a little money, built an app, then an API and a platform. And so we really changed the way that consumers are actually booking parking. But that wasn't the hardest part of the change. The, the challenge came with the industry and the parking operator. So if you can imagine a parking operator who manages a garage day in and day out, this person wasn't the most tech savvy individual, Fun fact, the first parking garage was created in 1918, and it was a very cash and paper receipt type business, and a lot of that has stayed the same. So, um, you know, we work to take this industry from the way that you've been doing parking since 1918 to, hey, scanners, revenue control systems, you know, technology at your, at your locations, and um, it's 
have been really helpful for their business, but it's definitely been an uphill battle along the way. Yeah, uphill battle. I mean, we're talking about technology and the internet and a lot of the ways that the, the parking lots were run were boxes full of cash. And it was really hard to convince people to, to do that. What's crazy is even today, there are cities like Los Angeles where half of all of the uh, money spent in parking is still cash. And so, you know, we started to have these conversations and there was a lot of tension of there's like us versus them. And then there was the ride share and car share and all of these things that started to change. And, you know, we had to ask ourselves, well, how do we, um, you know, fit within this change? How do we innovate? Because we don't want to be, you know, just like the parking industry, which didn't uh, have any innovation. And so, Becca, you were one of our first 20 employees in the company. Yeah. Now we have a few hundred. What, what have you seen in terms of change in, in the industry and, and our approaches over the years? Yeah, I think one thing to note, which probably is relevant to everyone in this audience trying to change an industry or convince, you know, people who've been doing something a certain way to adopt technology, um, we've noticed that with change, a natural reaction is resistance. And I think that's true for all of us. There's resistance and there's fear. And that was happening in the parking industry. So the first thing we had to do was manage their reaction to change and say, hey, what are you resisting and what are you afraid of? And what we found is that we had to prove to them that we were not the competition, right? We're a partner. You know parking better than we do. You know the ins and out of it. Let us fill in the cracks. Let us help you with technology, with customer acquisition. I mean, before Spot Hero, the way parking operators were getting customers in their garages was with the sign out front with an arrow saying, park here, right? So um, we, we had to prove to them that we were a partner. And we did a lot of that through education. So newsletters, we had a newsletter and we had enough people who signed up that we actually printed a hard copy. And that was everything of how to use online marketing for your business, how to use data and decision making, things that we're so used to every day, spent time and resources putting effort into that to educate our partners. And that helped us differentiate that helped us maintain thought leadership, and it just really helped us provide value to our operators so that they trusted us to come on board. And at parking conferences, which are a thing, um, we printed out these, you know, we actually made a physical publication. We sold ad space to different scanner companies, which was hilarious. I think Mark signed a copy and was like handing them out. So, you know, we've, we really tried to we, tell, we told the parking operators that we are your partner, so we, we did that. And then the other thing is putting your money where your mouth is, right? Like we were telling these parking operators that we're going to bring you business. We actually had to show them. I'm sure you can imagine with cash and paper receipts, there is no transparency into the way that these operators were managing their revenue. Um, a valet takes some cash. We don't really know where it goes. And, you know, um, so one of our key things was just transparency every new user, how their behavior was, and making sure that the operators could trust us and see that. And so, you know, since I've started, we're lucky in that now we have a lot of the major operators actually believing in online parking, which is really, really good. But I mean, by no means is our work done. Yes. Okay. So we've gotten all these operators on board. What other challenges have happened, you know, since you mentioned scanners, uh, this was uh, a big technology kind of innovation that we did at the time where we had to convince a lot of folks for, you know, it's, it's kind of uh, 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 a small innovation technologically, but a big leap in terms of how the customer experience is because it allows instead of a car arriving to, you know, give pieces of paper to a person, or aka cash, uh, but to have a car arrive, license plate recognition, read the license plate, and, and the gate to go up and down. And, and this has been expanded. And so, you know, it took, you know, years, almost eight years to start to get the relationships, digitize a fragmented industry. Um, and then there were more challenges in terms of how do we really push innovation even further? What, what, what other challenges have you seen? Yeah, I think, you know, what's gotten us to this point isn't going to get us to the next point. So as we mentioned earlier, when we started working in this business, we didn't think parking would be where it was today. And so in order to stay relevant and evolve, we had to think bigger and, and change the way we were thinking. So um, to address the different challenges and the importance of evolving, we did two main exercises. One was we really dug into our best customer. 
who was it? You know, dug through all of our customer data, and we actually found that 2% of our audience made up 20% of our sales, which is a really, really, really good customer. And so we wanted to find out everything about that customer, where they were parking, why they were parking, how much they were spending, um, first purchase surveys, figuring out where they were coming from. So that was one exercise that really helped us start to get creative and think, you know, what's next? The other one is to start to think, what, is, what are the other use cases of parking? So our core, our foundation, was taking one consumer car and getting it into one parking lot. But if you think about it, there's companies out there where parking is a really big line item in their business. So think maintenance professionals or sales reps that are driving and the companies have to cover their parking. Um, there's also ride share. You know, you have these drivers driving around in cities. What if they need to take a break, run to the restroom? Or if, you know, Taylor Swift is playing and they need a place to post up before the concert gets out, there's, there's an opportunity there. Um, we've also found that the parking lots itself can serve as different mobility stations. So charging, fueling, if you think car share, a place to drop off your scooter, pick it up. So starting to be smarter about that real estate that we've been able to connect and bring online. And then even an idea that we were that we're working on is mapping companies, right? How do they monetize? Parking is a perfect fit there. You have a driver using a map and then they can, you know, drive and book and pay for parking. So we approached it as if we were creating different startups within a startup. And just as you all do at your your companies every day, what are the problems? What are the new problems? What is your offering? And then what's the addressable market? And there have been a number of things that we've tried that haven't worked. And it's so much easier once something is starting to, you know, quote unquote, bring revenue. Uh, but some of the stuff that has has been technology that, you know, we've developed in house uh, that Becca's led, you know, the, the distribution of which allows fleets, uh, whether it's free, free floating um, or, you know, owned by, you know, groups of individuals, these cars can know exactly where they're going to park how much they're going to pay, if a spot's available, and to be able to get in and out, and that access component. And it's kind of crazy if you pull up for a second and think, if you look at all the cities in the US, 10 to more than 50% of all the space is actually used for parking, which is kind of crazy. I didn't know that. When we started uh, Spot Hero, th it was the idea that there's not enough parking, and we need to bring all this new parking to market, the so-called Airbnb of parking, what we realized not quickly enough, but we realized is it's not that there's not enough, it's that there's too much and you just don't know where it is. And so as Spot Hero has grown, so is the opportunity. What started is something where I'm like, you know, would love to not get parking tickets. Um, the reality is all of this space can be utilized for other things, whether it's electrification, whether it's for, you know, for vehicle charging, micromobility, uh, it's just space. And all of this underutilized space is, has basically been offline. And where real estate and mobility intersect is, is parking. And it's not something that a lot of people necessarily think about, but it is a big uh, piece of the future mobility, which I never would have thought. And so it started as a consumer marketplace where, as I mentioned, enough people are going to use our marketplace where we'll hit a billion dollars in parking sold next year. The reality is there's an even bigger opportunity where we have not just digitized all the space, but we've put it in an API. And, and this has been a huge innovation. We've been spending about two years connecting all types of point of sale systems, different machines. There was a lot of times where there was questions, well, what is the ROI on all of this investment? And you know, there was a time when we didn't know that for our core business, and we brought that to fruition, and now, We've announced a lot of different partnerships where if you, you know, download the Hertz app and you reserve a parking spot, it's powered by Spot Hero. We've announced stuff with Google Assistant and Android Auto, along with things with Waze and ParkMe, powered by Inrix, uh, which we do the e-commerce component, amongst a number of other things. But there's big innovations in digitizing all of the space, packaging it up in an API and creating the platform for parking. And it started with actually just a website. And if you could believe that, because we didn't have a mobile app, although a lot of people said you should have a mobile app, I said, yeah, we just didn't have the money at the time. 
Uh, now we do, and uh, almost 90% of our transactions are uh, booked on the mobile app. And as that shift happened in the innovation around our integrations into the digital, infra uh, the physical infrastructure, we now have a platform that we're innovating on uh, uh, as well. Yeah. Um, I think, too, another innovation that came about when we looked at our best customer was our whole spot here for business offering. So when we looked at our best customer, we found that that customer was somebody driving to, from, and for work. And so adding different features to our product, like Concur, Expensify, Certify Integrations, WageWorks is um, another partner. So just adding different features to our product to make parking more relevant to more people and different use cases. Yeah, and it's interesting because, um, you know, people do buy parking on the telephone today. Mm -hmm. And in the same way that there was this idea uh, from the parking industry and there wasn't a belief in the Internet, I also think that um, in many circles there wasn't a belief in parking. Um, there was just a belief in uh, alternative forms of transportation, but the reality is a lot of the future of cities is enabled by the space that needs to be used physically. Um, and what's awesome is San Francisco is the first uh, city, talk about some innovation, uh, where they changed the amount of parking spaces that need to be built. Because all across the entire country, there's these requirements which make everything more expensive. Whether you have a car or not, if you're paying rent in a building that had to overbuild parking, you're paying more for that. And so as we rethink space, that's really what it's about, is re-envisioning space and the innovation of how it's used. That's what we do at Spot Hero. Well, thank you, everybody, for coming today. Thank you for having us.